Hi guys, this week's artist is Joseph DeLapp. Here he is in our Google image search. Um, so this guy is Joseph DeLapp, and this guy you might recognize is looking something like uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Um, a couple weeks ago I mentioned Eva and Franco Mates had done some performances in virtual worlds uh, in, in, in a world called Second Life, and this is also a Second Life piece that Joseph DeLapp did. So this is his avatar Gandhi, and what he did was to recreate or reperform or reenact Gandhi's salt march. Um, so normally when you use a virtual world, your, prob your hand is probably on a mouse, but he didn't want to just push like an arrow key and, and have his avatar walk. So he built a Nordic track ski um, device so that when Gandhi is walking, so he walked the same time and distance that Gandhi walked in the salt march. And... Um, he physically walked that same distance in his studio on this Nordic track skier. And interestingly enough, um, he did that for this period of time and, and then it was like that project was over and so he left and all these avatars, all these people he had met along the way were sort of messaging him, when is Mr. Gandhi coming back? So a year later, so in, in actual life, at, at the end of his salt march, um, the British government threw Gandhi in prison and so he came, so Joseph DeLapp and his Gandhi avatar came back a year later and um, re-performed that prison visit by creating a, by building a small prison in Second Life and his avatar inhabited it for, I forget how long it was, like nine months or so. Um, and so he would go sit in the prison and I think he was, he was sending out tweets. Um, and then beyond this, this one world of Second Life, DeLapp has used a whole bunch of virtual worlds uh, and video games to think about culture and the way we work. So here's actually a, a, a funny piece. We're familiar with the popularity of the novel Fifty Shades of Grey, and here he did a piece Fifty Shades of Black Ops. Um, and another piece that he's done is he used the, uh, the video game, I think it's an army recruiting game, uh, America's Army, and he created an avatar and stood there and read the names of American soldiers who had died in the Iraq War um, until somebody killed his avatar and then he, he would come back and start reading them again. And the response was kind of interesting. So here he is in a, in a combat game reading the names of real dead soldiers and he got a tremendous range of responses from people. Um, some people said, wow, this really you know, gives me pause. Here I am kind of playing at killing people, but you know, people are really dying and that, maybe I should think about that. Other people were very offended and they said, we're playing a game, we're trying to have fun, and what's this guy coming in here reading all these names? It's total, he is totally inappropriate. Um, and other thoughts in between. So Delap got a, a wide range of replies. Um, so he's an artist who isn't making paintings, isn't sculpting away, but is really using new media, game media, virtual worlds, these kinds of spaces as ways, um, in his case, to do you know, a very politically active, a very uh, you know, active social critique, but it's all manipulating and existing in these online and virtual kinds of spaces that we inhabit so powerfully today. Um, Joseph DeLapp, Artist of the Week.